in workshop eight, we're going to simulate our network with our new ARNR storms. And then we're going to do a statistical analysis on the ensembles to select a critical duration. To create a new run group, we're going to go back to the master database, right click on our model group, go new InfoWorks and select run. Go to maximize the screen and we want to drag on our network and our storms. So selecting both using the control key, drag them on to any space and they'll automatically populate the fields. We're going to name this run Urban Development Run. We're going to check on Allow Reruns using Update Network. And then we're going to change some of our time step parameters. Our time step is going to be 10. Our results multiply will be 6. And we're going to run the storms for five hours. There is no need to simulate a 10 minute storm for five hours as the flows would have passed through the network well before the five hour mark. To run the simulations efficiently, we're going to click on time step control and we're going to go to outflows tab. We're going to check on the check for outflows, make sure we have the flow at each outfall, and we're going to set the threshold to 0 0.1 and our lag for 15 minutes. This means that after 15 minutes, if the threshold of 0 0.1 meters cubed per second isn't breached, the simulation for that particular storm will end. Click OK and then we're going to run the simulations. I'm going to keep them on this computer and select OK. You can see the simulations running within our job control window. You'll notice that mo multiple simulations are occurring at the same time for this particular run. This is because I've set the number of cores to use for simulations to eight. It should work through all the simulations relatively quickly. You can also see if the storms have been completed in our master database window, as the icons will change to green. There are a few more storms left to simulate. We'll just wait for them to complete. Looks like one of the simulations didn't get going. Make sure that we have the data for that just by opening up the run object and rerunning the simulations. We'll be asked if we want to only run the simulation for the storm that didn't complete and we'll say yes. All storms should now be successfully complete. Once the simulations are complete, it is always a good idea to make sure the flows look okay in the model before running an ensemble statistical analysis. Refer to workshop four for simulating and reviewing the results. Now we're going to move on to workshop 8B where we're going to look at the ARNR statistics. The, st the statistical analysis can be run on a subcatchment node link or 2D network result object for any associated result field. 
They can include multiple simulation results, such as an ensemble, which we use for this example, or a single result, such as looking at the average depth over time. In this example, we're going to use or do a statistical analysis on our channel to view the flows at the upstream and downstream ends. We're now going to create a statistical report to analyze these ensemble results. So clear any selections in the geo plan by selecting escape, or we can go clear selection from the toolbar. Now using the select tool, we're going to select our channel. Now right click on our model group, go to new InfoWorks, and we're going to select a statistics template. We're going to call this Ensemble Analysis Channel Flows. Select OK. And this should open up the statistics template in our GeoPlan. We're going to define the rules by which we want to undertake the statistics on. We're going to keep our location type set to link and we're going to change our attribute to upstream flow. To select our channel, we go add current selection. And then we're going to create a new tab for the downstream flow. So add new tab. You will see the second tab has been created down the bottom here. Going to keep the attribute of downstream flow. And we're going to add our channel to the selection again. Once we have created that, we're going to save and close the statistics template dialog. Now from the top toolbar, go to results and select statistical reports. We're going to drag in our run event and the statistics template. Then we're going to select produce report and then yes, this is just telling us that it may take a while for the statistics to complete. ICM will now generate the statistics report, which will contain information for the channel. The statistical report will show the peak flow at the upstream and downstream end of the channel for each storm pattern within the ensembles. If we go to the ensemble tab, you can see the analysis of the maximum flow results for each sim in the ensemble, and it provides the statistical results for the mean, median, min, max for the correlating sim. We can also export this information to Excel or produce a box and whisker plot. So what we're going to do is we're going to select one of the upstream flows for the 1% AEP event and then we're going to go to Statistics, Export Ensemble Box Plot. Within our training data folder, we're going to leave the file name as the default and select Save. Here we can see the box and whisker plot function in ICM, which has generated uh, statistics of our ensemble storms for our 1% event. We can change the display values up the top for minimum, maximum, median, mean. We're going to choose mean. And then we're going to tick on the mean marks. And we could also display the mean line as well as outliers and inner points. We can see from the results here that our critical storm duration is the 15 minute storm. And this is the flow that we're going to use to size the channel. And we'll use the flow the maximum flow for this event to check as freeboard for our channel. We're going to repeat this process for the downstream flow attribute. So I'm just going to minimize the window, select one of the downstream flows for our 1% event, then statistics, export ensemble box plot, keeping the default name, save it. And I'm just going to display the mean and the mean marks. 
for our channel, we now see that the 25 minute storm duration is our critical duration and the value of 9.14 is going to be our maximum permissible discharge 